Welcome to another test of using my phone to record time lapse in studio. Here I'm using my Windsor and Newton paints on Canson Montville aquarelle paper, uh, the paper I bought in bulk back when I was an uh, undergraduate student at university because it was cheap and it was in a maxi pack of a hundred sheets. Through experimentation I've since found that it's not actually fantastic for watercolours despite its name. So you'll note here that I'm not putting a particular amount of depth or many layers into the picture, just one or two layers and then moving on to a new space, letting it dry really thoroughly before I go back to it, because otherwise the paint lifts off almost as easily as I put it on again, which is great if you're trying to lift out stuff, but not so great if you're trying to build up layers of colour. So what I'm doing here is basically deciding on the colours as I go, putting in the uh, metallic colours, for the, the body of the line, adding in details like the eyes, the tassels, the ornamentation on the hips using colours that are in jewel tones to some degree and that contrast nicely with the uh, copper steely tones of the body. At some stage I'm going to have to sit down and do some of these clockwork animals with a background, both to give myself a bit more practice and also to establish a bit of context of the world in which I'm uh, situating them. In the meantime, this lad looks a little bit like a carousel lion as opposed to an actual leaping lion. Um, I don't mind, I might even come back and do some carousel clockwork animals in future with a, a lot more ornamentation because that's something I associate with that style of animal sculpture. And saddles and bridles and a lot more tassels. In the meantime, this lad is a companion piece with my steampunk monkey in a fez. I also have an elephant, a circus horse and a lemure in my sketchbook waiting to be uh, drawn up and painted as well. If people are keen, I'm more than happy to do another time lapse with the inking up of those and all the painting. Just let me know in a comment or send me an email if you, if you would like to see them. Who knows, I might even get myself sorted to put some music in the background of the next one, which I would like to do actually. Unfortunately, and unbeknownst to me at the time, we're coming up to the point where my phone's memory capacity hit the wall and it switched itself off. So you get to see about two thirds of the painting of this line. And then we jump to it being the final image. There you are. Better luck next time, eh?